decision of the government. If they want to avoid the, the strikes that have been going on every now and then, it is a disservice to Kenyans. It is a disservice to us. They must establish a service commission that is going to manage human resources from a central point. Because if today we earn human resource being managed from a central point, we could not be having issues of county A as paid, county B as paid. Kama chama cha wakuzi, chamba la kwanza kubwa ni kwamba tulikuwa tunaangalia report ya BBI. Na tuliangazia kipengele kimoja peke yake. Tutukisema kwamba tumeangazia vipengele vyote tuwa kwa tunatanganyi. Tuliangalia kipengele ambacho kinaleta tume ya kuratibu na kushukulikia mishahara ya wahudumu wa afya. Tulikuwa tunataka tume ambayo itakuwa ni tume ya kikatiba itakuwa katika article 15 ya katiba ya Kenya kama teacher service commission lakini ile tume ambayo imependekezwa na ile jopo kazi la BBI ni tume ambayo inawekwa katika health act kwa hivyo inakaa kama tu eh, department ndani ya wizara ya afya haina uwezo kuajiri wa hudumu wa afya haina uwezo kuwalipa mishahara Haina uwezo ya kuwapeleka shuleni, haina uwezo ya kufanyia chochote. Hale machukumu ambao wamepewa ni machukumu ya kutengeneza policy. Policy ambao tayari inatengenezwa na wizara ya afya, inatengenezwa na public service commission, inatengenezwa na ministry of uh, public service, youth and gender. Kwa hivyo hatuitaji na tuna health oversight authority. Hatuitaji chopo kazi lingine kama health oversight authority kutengeneza vyo kwa watu wachache kunyanyasa wa Kenya na kulipa ush, m, 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 uh, ushuru mkuu kwa chopo kazi ambalo halina maana kabisa. Sisi tumepitisha kauli kwamba tumekatalia mbali hiyo chopo kazi ya health service commission kama haitakuwa ya kikatiba. Ama mimi nasema uongo wenzangu. Nasema uongo. Kwa hivyo hawa ni wahudumu wa afya ambao ni wauguzi tutaungana na madaktari na wengine kutumia mbinu zozote ambazo ziko za kikatiba kuhakikisha kwamba sisi tumeheshimika kama wahudumu wa afya nji. Tulikuwa na katiba ambao tulianza kurekebisha mwaka 2014 na mpaka leo tumekuwa na vikwazo mingi tunakutana wat, watu wanakimbia kotini tunakutana registrar anahongwa tunakutana huyu anafanywa hii hivi leo hii kamati kupitia kura ya inaitwa kura namna gani kwa Kiswahili ya siri kura ya siri mm. secret ballot wamepika kura kwa kauli moja na kukusema kwamba wanataka katipa mpya e, e, isajiliwe na msajili wa vyama vya wafanyakazi ambao ni Register of Trade Union na wamesema kwamba kura ambayo inakuja lazima ifanywe kwa mta, kwa mujib wa katipa mpya kwa sababu ama nasema uongo kwa sababu registrar mwenyewe ameandika barua mahakama akisema kwamba katipa ya chama cha waukuzi ni ngumu sana na haiwezi kutekelezwa Kwa hivyo huu amusu umefanya na hili chopo kazi na sikia wengine wako huko inja wako kuja hapa Wanasema kwamba it is date on arrival Wacha tuambie kama uwezi kuwaishimu national governing kanzu We utafanya kazi na nani Unasema tu uamuzi hawa wamefanya ni useless At this date on arrival Kama uwe nafikiri registro hata kupo uongose hiki jama Na mahakama ndio wafasi wako We nenda uunde jama yako ya mahakama Na uunde jama yako ya registro of trade union Lakini hii ni jama ya wauguzi Wanaweza toa wapanyako leo Na waweke mtu mungine leo Mimi naweza hata kukufa leo na muweke mtu mungine Mimi siyo mawe Hii si jama ya mtu binafi Unaelewana? Yeah. Mimi naweza nikakufa ama nikaundoleo Hii si jama ya mtu mmoja hata amekaa na irobi Tulimuita kuja hapa amekata Saya naandika kwa mitandao Anasema Date on arrival Date on arrival what? This is the supreme organ of this union yes. And no one can challenge it yes. Tunakubaliana? Yes. Uwamuzi ambao munafanya leo Hata supreme court I was challenge yes. I'm telling you the truth You are the nurses You are the nurses and you are the union Yes, yes.